hello friends this is Kishan and this is the continuation of my previous video tutorial that is related to a spring with JDBC so in previous tutorial we have completed couple of API in dollar so get employee by ID as well as uh, last in this list create employee these two API we had completed still some APIs are pending so let's continue with the API like get all employee details so get all employee details is very similar to the I mean get employee by ID here this API is going to return single custom object but here this API is going to return collection of employee object so here have a, have a look on this uh, line of code here uh, JDBC template has a method is called query for object and first parameter we are passing the SQL query right and first parameter we are passing the employee row mapper and uh, third parameter we are passing the values for the display holder so here whenever your API returns a custom object single custom object or list of custom object then uh, you need to pass uh, in, in that uh, case uh, when you fetch the data from the database and your API returns custom object then always you need to pass the your uh, uh, row mapper class instance and this row mapper will have to create like this your row mapper must implement row mapper interface and this row mapper interface has a callback method is called map row which takes two parameter results and as well as row number and in this API manually you will have to create your model class object and you need to fetch the data from the result set and put into your model class and finally you are going to return the, your model class object so this is basically a callback method so you don't need to uh, call this method this is not the res uh, uh, developer responsibility to call this method this method will be called by the spring framework automatically so if you have a if your result set contain 20 uh, i mean 20 records then 20 times this uh, callback method is going to call that depends on the how many records uh, your result set holds that much time this api this method is going to be called so let's complete another api uh, that is uh, get uh, all employee details so here uh, again i'm i'm going to make use of jdbc template and at this time I am going to use the JDBC template has a method is called query so you may have a query uh, API which returns list of things so look at here uh, list of things so if you search here then uh, let me find out which is suitable for this requirement so I'm going to make use of this API which takes first is the SQL query and second is the row mapper class itself so SQL query we are going to write over here this is nothing but the select operations and we want to select all records from the database so of course you we won't have where clause select a start from employee which will fetch all records from the database so first query is the uh, first parameter the SQL query itself and here we need to pass the new employee row mapper object employee row mapper object and this api is going to return you list of uh, employees right and same list directly this statement we can write over here right so if you can uh, if we, directly we can so here see the I mean amount of code okay, that's very line if you write this SQL query over here if you line these things along with this then single line of code right so let's check this API uh, so go to the client program and here we had written earlier code to fetch the data for uh, by ID so let's refactor these things refactor extract method so I would say get employee by ID so let me comment these two previous call and here we are going to so here is the 
the reference of employee service here fetch uh, or what is the API name get all employees info right so this is the API and uh, let's say EMP list is the name of variable and let's iterate this list using enhanced for loop and let's put in the values for all record. Now if I run this API then cool we are able to successfully fetch the values for all records. So here I'm I am printing only uh, two attributes you may print remaining properties as well so sorry so get employee id and name we were printing but uh, here we may print email gender and we can print salary as well so get salary uh, let's refactor this code as well so here select this code snippet and refactor extract method and give the name uh, fetch all employees info something like this click on ok so here is the method call so let's run this API and here we've got the information about uh, all employees so something is getting printed now so I don't know what is that so before your salary what we are printing is gender I don't know why gender so gender is printing now so let's go and check our row mapper class so here gender we are not setting so we need to set the gender as well right so go to here and here we can set the gender so gender is all in, again a string data type so get a string and we need to pass the column name so that is nothing but the gender now if i run the client program then we will get gender as well so here we are getting the gender as well so this is the way to select all records from the database so almost we have done uh, now go to the dog class here still there are two apis are pending so delete and update both are very similar operations so let's uh, create a sql query for update operations so i would say update uh, table name we have a employee underscore table and to update we have a set right set keyword we'll have to write and we would like to set the values for emails email equal to question mark right and we would like to update the email address of a specific employee so based on the employee id so question mark so we have written this query now again we can make use of uh, jdbc template so jdbc template again we have a method is called update so here what method you need to choose that depends on your sql queries so sql query contains two i mean uh, placeholder then you may choose this method right which takes first parameter is the sql query and second parameter is the uh, i mean va uh, variable arc so here we need to pass the sql query and here uh, we can pass these two values so if you look at the query then left side first comes email so we need to first specify the email and then employee id so now if you look at this api this api returns the integer values we need to check if update update returns greater than zero means you need to prompt a message email is updated so let's go to the client program and run this api so here 
comment this API first. And we have a employee service reference. So here from here we can call the update API. So here we need to pass the new email address and here we are passing I mean ID has two. So if I look into the database then ID I mean ID2 has a Jimmy. Right? Jimmy has a email address something like this. So here I'm giving it 2016 something like that. Now let's run this API check it whether it's working or not. So saying that email is updated go to the toad and here refresh it and look at here here we have changed the email address. So this API is working correctly as well. Now we have a one API is still pending that is the delete. So delete is very similar to update only. So I am going to copy this code snippet pasting over here and for delete you can use delete employ uh, here delete from right delete from employee table where you need to pass the employee id so you can use this api only and here uh, you can say uh, employee is deleted right you can say employee is deleted so let's test this api so go to the client program and i'm going to comment this call and we have a reference of employee service then we can call make a call and i'm going to delete the employee whose id is one so if i run it then saying that employee is deleted go to the toad and refresh it so it's currently john is the employee whose id is one refresh it so john is deleted so this way here we have completed all api all crud operations we have performed so when uh, when we say crud right so crud is just an acronym in rdbms so c stands for create r stands for read u stands for update and d stands for delete so all operations like we have created a new record into the database by create employee api read we have we have written code for two api where we read we read the data from the database like get employee uh, by id and get all empl employees info now we have also seen update operations where we have seen how to update the email address of employee uh, based on his uh, employee id and finally we have deleted a record from the databases so almost all crud operations we have done using a uh, spring with jdbc and we made use of jdbc template so still guys there are a lot of customization i'm going to do in this project in next uh, series of video tutorial like uh, if you look into the this uh, spring configuration file then here i mean these are the properties like uh, driver class name uh, database url user and password everything we have hard coded so these are the things i'm going to move into the properties file so, and apart from that we'll have i'm going to discuss on the code and uh, i mean how flow goes uh, from client program to service and service to dollar so these are the things i'm going to discuss in the next series of video tutorials so please bear with me and uh, Till that, happy learning. See you next video.